Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So before these go back into storage, because I don't like to keep anything rare or anything fragile like laying around, um, I thought I'd show you guys this. Now, I probably did a video on this a while ago, but um, it's so like I have hundreds of videos and it's like uh, probably hidden somewhere in uh, the Internet abyss. So I wanted to show you guys this. So this is Bohemian Pottery and Bohemian Pottery is actually known also as amphora pottery and amphora is not only a vessel because that's what they used to call like the old urns but um these were just uh not just designed for storage these were designed for beauty so the name of amphora uh, was stamped on many of these type of terracotta and pottery wares um dating to the late 1800s and early 1900s this uh, um this art pot pottery was produced in the turn to Plitz region of Bohemia during the Art Nouveau era. These wares are referred to by dealers and collectors as to Plitz from time to time as well. So the best makers were Reisner, Stelmacher, and Kessel. Um, also, we have, um, I'm trying to think, um, there was, my goodness, there was so many different makers. There was Actually, Royal Ducks, that was, an, I'm not like having a brain fart. It was Royal Ducks. There was like all different makers in that area. And a lot of these are marked Amphora or Turn to Plitz. And there was a multitude of factories in the Bohemian region in the Turn to Plitz area making things like this. Now, a lot of them were vases and urns. You see a lot of that. But the plaques, you don't see that often. Now, what these two plaques signify is Eve in the Garden of Eden. So it's quite interesting. If you look around the rim of this plate or this plaque, I call this a plaque because this gets hung on the wall, um, you'll see the snake and Eve is reaching for the apple. Now, a lot of Art Nouveau um, had this almost like biblical and naturalistic expressional symbolism. So you'll see a lot of animals and naturalistic elements along with beautiful like nymphs and maidens and uh, beauties of the day. So this is quite interesting to see. This is um, actually glazed around the edges and it's terracotta in the center. And terracotta is like an unglazed pottery. And it's absolutely stunning. Now on the back, it's just marked with a model number and a triangle. Now I don't know who the maker is, but um, I can certainly say this definitely, most likely 99.9% was made in the Tiplitz area or the Bohemian region. Now, the other one is equally as beautiful. If not, actually, it's my favorite. So what it depicts here is Eve, and she's looking almost guilty. <laughs> she's looking away, and you see lightning bolts coming down from the sky. And then you see this beautiful flower. I believe maybe it's a poppy of some sort. I don't know my flowers very well. And you see the snake. He's sneaking, and he's uh, peering out from behind the leaves of the flower. And Eve is like pensive and in like almost like this, this, this rueful look, like she knows she's doing wrong, but she seems to like be so tempted that she doesn't care. And God is striking her. God is, God is actually punishing her. This is so expressive and so beautiful. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. And it's gorgeous uh, pottery. You don't see these type of plaques that often. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And this is actually going into storage right now. I'm so afraid of breaking it. So long.